Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to a new video. My name is Prince Mason and I'm a photographer based in Lagos, Nigeria. Today, I want to tell you guys five reasons why I love the new Sony cameras like the Sony A7R III, the Sony A7 III and the Sony A9. Not the ones before those cameras, <laughs> like just those three cameras because I think those are the latest cameras from Sony. And I'll tell you guys five reasons why I actually love them. Now, the number one reason will be the form factor. Before I get into that, let me just tell you that I own a Sony A7R III, I do not own an A9 or an A7 III, yes. But they are practically almost the same cameras, they're just different in, you know, very minor ways. The Sony A7R III is geared towards like um, professional photographers that probably do studio work and they need the 42 megapixels. The Sony A7 III is uh, an entry level full frame Sony camera, mirrorless camera, and um, it's geared towards everybody, probably a wedding photographer, um, um, a portrait photographer, whatever you are, you know, you can use that. Then the Sony A9 is um, geared towards, um, I think, sports shooters or anybody that's shooting anything that is action packed or fast paced and all that. But basically they have almost the same body, same form factor, and they are like literally the same cameras, just, get towards different people now i'll tell you five things i love about them and um, five things that are actually available in each of these cameras the first one would be the body like how small the body is the form factor i actually love it when i was buying the camera i thought i would hate it and i bought a grip with it now if you're buying the camera you would just use it or you're just gonna use it for photography basically. I would advise you actually buy a grip because when you have an adapter or probably you're using adapted lenses and like a 70 to 200 on it, it just looks awkward when you're using just the small form factor alone. But yeah, the form factor is fantastic. I love it. Um, I bought it with a grip and I love using the grip when I'm taking pictures, especially when I'm taking portraits and I have to like flip the camera the other way. It is just amazing to see such a small camera um, be so feature packed. I don't know, it's just, fantastic um it has such a huge sensor 42 megapixels and it's just really small like it's underwhelming basically when you see it you can take it out and people will not disturb you when you go out to take pictures unlike when you go with the um the canon and the battery grip mounted on it people will definitely disturb you especially from this part of the world nigeria especially so yeah the form factor is really nice the second thing i actually love about this camera is the evf the fact that what you see at the back screen is almost exactly what you see through the viewfinder just way way better the evf is fantastic i don't know how i was able to shoot without an evf all my life right now when i'm shooting my canon i literally look into the camera to see if i can preview my images imagine shooting outside in bright sunlight and yeah sunny screens are usually not that bright the fact that i can just put the evf in my eye and you know preview my images and see exactly you know what they will look like is just fantastic another thing about the evf is what you actually see is what you get when you take a picture so you do not have to guess your settings and all that it makes you lazy or you know but yeah i love it and it just works for me it works perfectly for me now the third thing that i absolutely love about sony cameras will be the eye autofocus the fact that all i have to do is hold one button and it tracks my eye it's just insane i don't know why this was not available in previous um cameras that i used i'm a beauty photographer primarily and that's why i do most of the time personal projects and all that it's just fantastic to be able to just track the eye. I shot recently with my Canon 5D Mark III and I had to focus and recompose. I shot at 1.4 with an 85. When I got home, most of the images I loved and I wanted to be keepers, I could not use because they were slightly out of focus, you know? And yeah, it's kind of like, but I, I felt that day that if I shot with my Sony, I probably would have gotten at least 99% of those pictures in focus. It's just what I think. And uh, the autofocus points again are spread almost across the whole frame of the camera. It's just great. And if you're using the A7 III or the A9, I, I, the autofocus is actually still better than the A7R III that I'm using right now. So I'm just trying to wonder how how insane it will be. So yes, the autofocus on this camera is, uh, in this camera is like just, just fantastic. So you should definitely, definitely look at these cameras if you're looking to buy something that would have the eye autofocus or something that can track and all that it's just fantastic now the fourth thing i love about sony cameras will be the video the video that comes out of this camera is crisp it is fantastic if you're going to be a hybrid shooter like i am showing both videos and stills you should definitely definitely check this camera out it should be 
on top of your list, especially the A7 III and the A7 R III now. Um, if you do not need the 42 megapixels of the A7R 3 then definitely check out the A7 III. I know a lot of people are waiting for the A7S 3 that will be coming out pretty soon, hopefully sooner than I think, hopefully. And I'm actually looking forward to that camera because I feel like that's going to have 4K at 60p and some other things. So definitely looking forward to that camera. But if you're doing both photography and stills and you just need one camera, definitely check out the new sony cameras the a7 III and the a7 r3 they come with s log they come with um, different log profiles so the fifth thing i love about sony cameras is the fact that you can adapt lenses to them and the autofocus works now it will not work as good as sony or native sony lenses it definitely will not work that well but it just works at least 60 to 70 percent of the time it works for me and it's just something that I do not have to invest in Sony lenses right now. And if you know about Sony lenses, especially like their G Master lenses, you know they're expensive. Their G Master lenses are freaking expensive and they really do not have like a large array of lenses right now. So if you're going to be getting the Sony system, you can just buy one, buy an adapter and use your Canon lenses on them. I don't know about Nikon, but I know they, you can adapt Canon lenses and the autofocus works. Um, Sigma lenses too, if you have the Sigma MC11 adapter or the Metabones adapter, it works very well. I have the MC11 and I use it and it works very well for me. So yeah, that's it. If you're looking to switch to Sony, don't think about it and um, just go ahead. I was scared at first when I wanted to switch. I wasn't sure if spending $3,500 like I did plus taxes was just, was going to be crazy or insane for me to do because I just felt like, wow, do I really want to spend this amount of money on the camera that I cannot return because I'm in Nigeria. Once you buy it and you get here, you probably have to ship it back to the States to return it. But right now I am extremely happy I bought this camera. It works for me for both video and photos, like my hybrid shooter and it works perfectly for me. So yeah, I hope um, I've been able to help somebody out there. If you do not know, I have been a Canon shooter for the last six years. I still own my Canon 5D Mark III. I still believe that the camera does not take the pictures. The photographer makes the image happen. If you're buying this because you feel like your pictures are going to be way better, then I don't think you should buy it. If you're buying this because you need something that will help you work efficiently, you know, better than your previous cameras then definitely definitely buy it. if you're buying it for improved video quality especially if you were shooting like a 5d mark 3 or a 70d or all those cameras definitely buy it it would improve the quality of your video so anyways i hope i've been able to help somebody to make this decision if you're looking to purchase either uh a7r3 an a9 and a7 III, whichever one you want to buy they are fantastic cameras i can talk 100% about the A7R 3 It is a beautiful, beautiful camera to use. Now, if you've stayed to the end of this video and you could see somebody walking behind, that was Wheezy. I don't know why he could not just sit down, but <laughs> my apologies about that. Anyways, thank you for watching this video. Thumbs up if you love it. Subscribe if you want to see more content from me. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic, fantastic week. Peace.